with uh, another drawing and if you are going to draw a cover uh, you can say a box or a cover with the uh, cover and uh, the idea is to make three parts uh, one the most important part which is the back side of the our sketch next we are going to make a cover and then uh, hang the joint so we have three parts let us start from first one select part and ok uh, we are going to use IPS extra here is the default IPS uh, and one more thing we are going to use uh, shade metals this time uh, previously we often use features and we have used surface uh, one or more times now we are going to use shade metals so what's the difference in this let's start front plane sketch and the front plane sketch the center of rectangle from origin i'm going to mention its dimension as 12 by 2 that means 2 bits height let's suppose 4 by uh, 12 by 2 4 by 12 and Okay, now next um, we are going to sheet metal. Okay, we turn on that. Okay, put it here. We are going to use sheet metal. And uh, for this sheet metal, first is to have this <coughs> base, flange, or tap. Come here, uh, give the thickness. I'm going to make uh, from 3 mm sheet. That's mean the thickness I am putting 3 mm and simply uh, take this okay. Uh, no need to change this K factors or ratios. <coughs> okay, this my 3 mm sheet is now here. Next is this is my wall back. Now I have to make the sides for these. I'm going to use edge flange. Simply click it. Come to the edge. Take it front side. Now it's simple to just click the edges. All four edges. Okay. Now next is um, how much I'm going to um, extrude it so i am using as let's suppose 18 inches and one more thing see here okay it's um, there gap is there is very little gap no need to change uh, this gap is controlled by uh, this direction let me see um, 0.1 see that gap I have 0.01 to just make it closer. Okay. Now, this one is done. Uh, one more thing we have to make a lean edge flange. Okay, one more thing. Let me clear you. You will think why I don't do this edge flange once. Uh, if I am going to create this side, then I uh, don't create next to this side. So I have to first make this one, then the inner one. That's why I'm going to select this edge. Yeah, downward. Mm, this one. Okay. This one. And the last one. This one. They all are going to be mm, 1.5 inches. Okay, and see the gap here is very little. Okay. Now next is the edge branch, and again select this one and take it inside. Yeah, here. Now select all the four sides. This one. And 
स्टेज वन ओके एंड नी का डायमेंशन एच वन पॉइंट फाइव से और ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज यू कैन सी देर इज कैप्स दिस एजेस आर नॉट फिल्ड फॉर दिस वी हैव ऑप्शन कॉर्नर्स वेल्ड कॉर्नर्स एंड कॉर्नर्स टू वेल्ड Select the space and now see it is going to be built, but uh, okay. Let me show you first. I click okay. It is going to be built. It's very very clear uh, and it's finished. But um, let me show you. I'm going to this build corner edit features and we have option add texture. If I click it and okay, now see the difference. It's showing the surface as it's been welded. So it's up to you if you want to show it's a welding. Then you can select this one, or you can just make it finished. Um, I used to make it as finished. No need of a text. Okay, and uh, uh, now I have done one side. I have to make all sides to be welded. Select this one. Okay, now next, and in welding you uh, don't weld all corners uh, once, so you need to weld one by one. Again, corners, weld corners, and this one. Okay, now the last one, this one, and corners, weld corner. And okay, all the corners are welded. Now next is take it as normal. Control seven. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Control seven for isometric lighting only. Ah, uh, if you press control eight, it will. Mm, okay. If I select this one and press control eight, it will take it to normal. If I press control seven, it will make it to isometric plane. So our the big part the box is done. Um, if you are uh, making a box, it's done. If you want to make uh, the two or three partitions or as many as you want, so you can make partitions here. Sketch, control eight. Mm. Part of the angles from here. Make a rectangle from here. I'm going to make. Two partitions. Uh, that means uh, there will be three partitions. I'm going to divide it in three. This one dimension. And one more thing. Select this one. Select this one. Make a relation to one. This one dimension is going to be three elements. Now give the distance. Mm, I think it's ten. It's ten. Are these three is too wide? Let's make it up two. Yeah, three is okay. A uh, one point five will be better. Okay. Now see the distance between them is twenty four. So increase that fifty. Yes, there is fifty. And it's fourteen point seven one is okay. Now. We are going to use extra board base for these two. Control seven. Okay, wait a minute. Control seven. Yeah, we have to extrude it up to. Uh, we have extrude this side eighteen inches. So it's um fourteen inches will be good. Fourteen inches. Okay. Uh, these three partitions has been done. Now let's take it. Control and press. Um, desktop. I have made of uh, boxes cover. Okay, it's our part one. Now close it and save. Close it. Um, okay, new part. Next is again front plane. Uh, we are going to make door, front plane, and uh, factor rectangle from origin. Same thing. 
is 24 inches that from two bits and is four bits means four by twelve okay and extrude no extrude we are using sheet metal so it's one scrap and is by default it's scrap but let's see three mm so okay and okay it's done now we have to make the size for this edge flange it's very easy to use a sheet metal you no need to make a sketches of it from here okay from here from here and from here by this time we no need to extrude it too much we just need two edges okay or Take it to opposite. Okay, so we have made it two inches and see the gap. There is the very little gap. Okay, and now, um, next is control eight to take it to normal. Edge flange um, from here downside from here to here here to here and the last one here to here and it's going to be very little one inches and four feet. The same thing you need to make it wilted corners will corners one. Okay, let me show you. It's going to be done or not? It's showing preview that is going to be good. Let me show you. Okay, if I select this face, this one will hide. That's when we can extrude one by one. Ah, we can build one by one. Not extrude, build from us. This one. Okay. Again, build corners. And the lower one, okay. Again, weight corner, let's take a little time. Weight corners, and okay. Now it's done. Control 7 for isometrically. You see, it's done. Now you can give it uh, some. Depends. I don't give the first one, but uh, I'll give the second one. Like a metal and polish is still chromium plate. So polish aluminium. Okay, polish aluminium. I've made it from polish aluminium. And okay, let's save it. Control S. I don't think we need uh, need uh, more work from this. Uh, if here, then we will take like a two. Okay. Now it's saved. Next is we have to make the hinge joint. Uh, to, uh, uh, which is going to be used in assembly while we want to make this go on the box. So close it. So finally we are going to make hinge joints. So for this part and okay. Mm, hinge joint we need uh, Three more parts for making a hinge joint. First, front plane, a sketch. Same, same rectangle dimensions for this. Mm, that may be um, one inch is okay, and uh, three inches, one inches by three inches. Extrude them. Mm, Direction one extrude up to five mm and okay. Next, <coughs> select this face a sketch, control A to take it to normal, and here make a circle from center point, make a <coughs> circle. 
x dimension must be of dia of pi and then <coughs> and select this one this line you make the relation tangent and okay now next extrude them extrude <coughs> up to um total is three inches let's make uh, point seven five okay <coughs> next um, linear pattern make it a pattern direction give uh, direction as one top plane right plane and features and faces like this was extrude okay this is not right planes like in this one and two distance let's suppose two inches Control eight is not working, so front plane boss extrude. We are going to extrude this one. <coughs> okay, wait. again go to linear pattern. We have to extrude through these two features. We want to extrude this one. Um, Three and uh, next reduce the distance point seven five to point seven five to no one point five. Okay, one point five is okay. And this three make it two and okay. Now next is take this side a sketch control 8 corner of fingers from here to here from here to this corner okay I made it for extrude not line up to the surface and like the surface and <coughs> okay now see it's going to work now select again this one sketch control 8 second to make a hole to put a pin on this a small dimension 1.5 mm or let's increase it 1.5 make it 2 mm OJ to MM is good. Now features extrude cut and through all. Through all. Okay, extrude. Now this one is done. For this, simply I'm going to appearance and use it. It's also metal and make it bronze. Brass or they made it of iron. Okay, this is one save it by name him one. I show you him one. Okay, now next again. Oh, okay, we no need to make another one, but we have to make a pin to amends part. Top plane sketch circle circle of <coughs> two elements two and <coughs> extrude extrude up to uh, we have made three inches three inches mm, same. Control S to save this pin. Make it as pin. Okay. 
no assembly let's see we need second part of him or not if uh, we want then we will this one and this one turn it on in him one from region to region okay don't put let's put it on region now press control and make it a copy move component rotate it rotate it like this okay now escape mm. insert component we need a pin here a pin okay now start mating need this one and this one as concentric okay this one <coughs> and this one concentric okay now next thing is where is the pin Is a pin this one, this one, and this one. <coughs> okay, now our hinge is ready. Now, see, it's not done. Coincident. <coughs> okay, mate, not in such company, mate. This one and this one. Okay, now see if it's working. It's done. So save it. Control S. Rebuild and save the document. It's saved. Now uh, we are going to assemble all the parts. First of all, we need blocks. Mm, we need Cover where is the cover? Mm, part one and part two, and hinge. We need these three things. Turn it on. <coughs> Here is the first one. Uh, for second one, second one, put it in origin, and then last one. Okay. Okay, one more thing I'm facing a problem with my system that's it's going to hide the first one. But we will fix it. Wait. Um, part one here. Delete it. Okay. Now again I'm going to insert part one and put it here. Now that I'm going to put it in origin. Let's see. <coughs> It's going to make problem again or not? Close this one. Take it here. <coughs> mm. Start waiting. This one and these faces as not coincident but parallel. Okay. Uh, then now. <coughs> It's fixed. Right click. Uh, this app shows it's a fixed part. Make it float. Here is float. Mm. <coughs> okay, here is float. Now I can take it here. <coughs> Let meet this one and turn it this one. It's going to meet okay. Now next is <coughs> one more thing. Make it fix no. Make from 
this dot to this one make distance um, here make a distance of five inches this is going to be good yeah five inches okay now next is okay one more thing from here to here make a distance Sixteen inches. No. Okay. Mm. Sixteen inches in case it. increase a little bit more you have to take care that this uh, pin will go outside of your file it's going to be 17 inches okay now check your okay one more thing go to this thing and make it properties make a semi flexible now your thing will make Okay, now next is make again this one and uh, we need to make this face. <coughs> okay, move cross it. Make this one and turn it a little bit here. So it will be easy. This it's like this face. Make and this one. Okay, now this one is going to work. Next is this one and this one. Parallel. Okay, one more thing. Let me check. The last mate is done. Coincident. Okay, coincident is done. Now next is mate. Let's do this first. From here to here, the distance will be five inches. We have made it five inches. Okay, why is making some problem? Let's see. It's coincident, but it's moving. Okay, for this, it's like this face and this face. Okay, now check it. Yes. And one more thing is going to be inside. So this, cross it, right click, open component. Flange this one is a flange one and the features we have made it two make it one inches okay okay done here okay and control S now close this one yes and see it's going to work work properly right there is a gap so it will turn easily now next is <coughs> we need to put more hinge here in middle and the lower one for this assembly inside component we are going to bronze Hinge <coughs> one time and copy it. 
No, I'll tell you. Only part we need complete range. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Our box is uh, not showing properly, but let's see. Right click, make it. So, so the assembly movable, movable. Okay. Now it's going to work. Let's take it here. Select first of all this one. Make yes, it's going. <coughs> and this one. Okay. Coincident. Next this one and this one okay control seven we have to come here <coughs> make a distance we will make uh, the distance later now it's turn to this one this one and turn it this one okay and this not this face this face and this one and this one okay it's going to be inside but we will <coughs> make it mm, next turn it this one and this one Okay, and from bottom, this face and this face. And now next is from here. Now the edge from face, from here to here. Make a distance of, we have made, mm, 24 inches and okay. let's see how it's working control 7 okay this hinge is not working for this make a relation from this face to this face and okay hopefully it's work now it's working properly okay you can see it's working properly As you can give the appearance like this part appearance and uh, we have used no um, okay select the whole part control A and make it of polish history perspective view and now it's look good 